Chainsaw Man Episode 2 blew us all away with the introduction of power and Aki, among other things. But did you know that nearly a whole chapter's worth of content was cut? including a battle with one of the most interesting and unique devils from Chainsaw Man's earliest chapters? You didn't? Well, you're in the right place, because today we're going to be going over all of the cut content that didn't make it into Chainsaw Man Episode 2. And trust me, it's a lot. So while this is cut content now, at any point, Mappa may choose to add it back in. So if you don't want to be spoiled, catch my video on Episode 2 instead, which only goes over what's shown in the anime. So with that out of the way, strap in. This is Chainsaw Man Episode 2 Cut Content and subscribe. Do it for power. For the most part, episode one of Chainsaw Man was pretty much just a one-to-one -one adaptation. So with episode two, Mappa decided to essentially take two separate dialogue moments from the beginning of chapter two and combine them and then cut out a major battle with a devil. So in this alternate beginning, which for the most part is one-to-one, -one, we have the very same car ride with the very same outcome of Denji falling for Makima and receiving her jacket. All of that still happens. What comes next, however, is is interesting. When Makima and Denji decide what they're going to eat, a man with blood running down his face runs up to them begging for help. Turns out, that man is a father and her daughter was stolen by a devil. So Makima, at this point still not knowing Denji's name, finally asks and then she says she doesn't want her udon to get soggy so he should go and deal with the problem at hand. Because the only answer she accepts from dogs is yes and woof. I hope you're noticing a trend here. It's all the same except for a few key aspects. Most of this scene is retained in the anime, though let's continue. Running into the woods in the direction of the devil that took the man's daughter, Denji is resentful of getting himself into the situation that he did with Makima. So he curls up and remembers Pochita, how he already misses his lovable chainsaw dog. But quickly he hears the girl and the devil who took her. This scene in the anime is a little different, however, as Denji's reflection on Pochita and his death happens within the conversation between him and Makima, though the context and points of the scenes still remain the same across both versions. They both get across that Denji's life has already changed greatly in the last 24 hours, and not, and not only does he have doubts about Makima, but he misses Pochita, and that he hates being demanded to do things. Continuing on, Denji runs into the devil and the captured girl, and at first, the girl tells Denji that what the man was telling her was in reality a lie, because her father actually beats her, and that's the reason for why the devil saved her and they ran away together. This affects Denji as it plays into the moment he just had with Makima and Pochita. Realizing that with Makima, if he says no or disobeys her orders, she will kill him. He then proposes to the girl that they both run away together with her devil. Denji, in this moment, relates to the girl, but was all a way to trick Denji, as it's revealed there is no contract between the girl and the devil. In reality, that father was telling the truth. Turns out that this devil is known as the Muscle Devil. Its ability is rather unique in that if it's touching a creature with muscle, it can control them to its will overriding the person's control of their own body. So the muscle devil shatters Denji's arm and muscles. So yet again, betrayed by another devil, Denji turns into Chainsaw Man for the second time, slaying the demon and freeing the little girl who moments before was a plaything of the muscle devil. Arriving back with the girl, this is when Denji starts to faint, telling Makima that he loses a lot of blood by transforming into Chainsaw Man, and thus Makima feeds him. And the rest of the scene plays out the exact same as in the anime. I think this scene for the manga was cut out simply because in a 12 episode season, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have this be what is essentially the first half of the episode. They clearly wanted to introduce power by the end of episode two, so they had to make concessions to do that, and it just so happened that these concessions were perfect for them. Though, due to this being cut out, the theme of this scene isn't as impactful as it could have been, as it shows that 
In this world, in the original, Denji has been constantly betrayed by devils and humans alike. Thus, while he knows his situation with Makima isn't ideal, it's all he has. In fact, it's the best he has, and is his best bet to living out his dream, because Makima will give him everything. All he needs to do is say yes or woof. And, obviously, he chooses woof. In the anime, while that's clear, it's not just the same. Though, I do agree with the cut, and even if this was a 24 episode anime, I still think it would be smart to cut this part regardless and condense the scene for time. Otherwise, it would take until episode 3 to see power, and ya boy yowls at the moon for power, so that's a no-go for me, sister. However, there are plenty of small dialogue changes in much of this anime episode compared to the manga, though they're not significant enough to mention outside of maybe Aki seeming more biased towards Makima, hinting he may be jealous at Denji because Makima chose him. Otherwise, that's about it for cut content. If you guys want more of these, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're about 1,000 subs away from 60k. And once again, do it for power. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.